Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be completing Idle Springs and also heading over to Colossus. So I'll see you guys there. Hey what's up guys, welcome back. I hope you um enjoyed that little intro, I'm going to be doing that in all my walkthroughs now. Kind of like uh, Spiral Jam 86, he has a little introduction before every video. And um, I have an update for you guys. After en every 10 videos on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be doing a thing called Gamer Blog. When I just talk about um, important topics in the gaming community. And I'll just be covering different, you know, different things. So you guys could stay tuned for that. It will be coming out pretty soon on my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to upload about 6 parts. And I'm just going to be uh, speeding through here real quick. Because it's very boring. Because I'm just trying to find um, the rest of the gems on this level. And I didn't want you guys to watch that. So, uh, yeah. I really wasn't uploading a lot of videos for a while. I was doing the Call of Duty drawing series. I'll probably go back to that later on. I've just been real busy this summer. And I also got vacation coming up. Coming up. It's going to take about a week or two. And then I have football. Which will take about two hours of my day. And that kind of sucks. But anyways, I'm going to head over to this challenge now. I didn't finish it in my last video. Which was about, I think, two weeks ago. Something like that. And what you got to do here is jump on every corner of the little square. Just like that. And then the next part of this challenge is going to be on... You have to get these little fish. Like, you have to flame the fish and put them in this giant tiki's mouth. That's what you have to do on this part. So I'll talk to him, and then we'll go into the challenge. And it's not very difficult. You just have to not hit the red fish. Because it'll poison uh, the rest of the fish in his mouth. So uh, right now I got four. And I do believe it's going a little bit slow today on Spyro. Especially on this challenge because the fish seem like they're jumping up a little bit slower than usual. And uh, each video I'm going to make now is going to take at least two hours to make. Because I want to make it as best as it can be. And I already got the skill point on this level. Which you have to jump on top of a tiki's head on the other section of the level. I'll show you it later on. And there we go, we got 10 out of 10. Now we can head over to the final part. And it's pretty easy. All you need to do is go up here and then you'll just go to the end of the level. But not actually go out the, per uh, the portal. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing those little... Um, intros on my video every every time now, and I'm gonna just be talking in the beginning. If you jump and this is an easy challenge, also. What you need to do is jump on the blue one first, and then you need to go on to the other triangle, and then go to the two orange ones, and then you're done after that. I think they're half moons or something like that. Yeah, so, um, I also got my pinnacle fixed. Well, it wasn't actually broken. It was just on mute the whole damn time. That's how stupid I am. But anyways, I got all the orbs now. And I'm gonna look for the final gems, but I'm gonna cut the video because it took me about five minutes just to find the last gem. Even using the sparks hidden feature. When you press R1, R2, L1, and L2. And that's a little hidden feature you guys can use when you're looking for gems. So, um, I'm done in this level. Hopefully, uh, I finish Colossus in under one part, but I doubt it. Because I have the ice hockey challenge. And just, there's a lot of challenges in that level. Primarily in the, uh, ice hockey rink. And I think there's one with a professor also. 
So now we're going to head over to Colossus, one the most or actually the best level in this entire home world of Summer Forest. And look at that, we only got two gems. And I still need in the probably two parts from now or maybe three I'll um get all the gems in Summer Forest. But anyways, watch the opening cutscene, it's really funny. <laughs> I remember seeing that like when I was really young, like about five years old. And these are the same guys that were from Idle Springs, except they're in a different costume. And they also open doorways for you like they did in Idle Springs. And uh, there's really not much to say about this level. There's a few double jump glitches you could do, like get on different roofs and stuff. And by the time I upload this, it'll probably be 9... Maybe 9.45 where I live. Because right now it's about 9.25. And yeah, this video is really not long. It's probably the shortest walkthrough. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because it's probably uh, the shortest Fire 2 walkthrough yet. And I don't want to talk to you because I already know about the whole game. And I got all those gems, and I'm gonna head over to this part, and then this is gonna be the end of this video. And I hope the quality is good because I improved the settings a little bit, and it doesn't lag at all, so that's really good. And that's a power up, I'll talk more about that in the next part, so I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more awesome videos.